This is my coding notebook with handwritten notes when I first was learning how to program. This video is going to go over some of the reasons why I used a handwritten notebook to take notes and why I think others should do the same. Yo, what's going on everybody? A couple months ago, I put out a video on my coding notebook setup and tips, and this is going to be a follow-up to that. I'm going to be talking about this in a more freeform way and not so instructional. When I first started filming this video, it was just a topic I wanted to share. I wasn't really focusing on who would necessarily find this useful. It was just like, this is something I did. This is my experience. And that's pretty much what that video was about. But more in an instructional way, I wanted people to more understand why I was doing this versus just a show and tell. So if you want to know more about what I used in this notebook and how I set it up, then I will leave that link down in my description. And something I want to make clear before we start is that I'm not saying this is the most optimal way of taking notes for code or programming. And I'm also not saying this is for everybody. In essence, everybody learns differently and this is the way that worked for me. I want to start this out by giving you a little bit of backstory about my journey. This was the first time I was ever learning how to program. I have no prior experience in web development or any programming. I have very little experience in the math and science field. The highest math class I've ever taken was Algebra 2. For anybody unfamiliar with JavaScript, it is one of the main programming languages used in web development. Why a notebook and why handwritten notes? I'm always sketching. Here is one of my sketching books for art, logos, cartoons, whatever I want to draw. Anytime I was learning math or science, I was generally writing down notes in a notebook. It was a natural thing to just grab a notebook, grab a pen, and start taking notes. Writing down the notes, color coding, highlighting, making small annotations was just the way I had been doing things pretty much all my life when taking notes technically. And as you can see, I applied those same principles here. And I'm gonna make a quick note here for anybody who is learning web development for the first time, I would highly suggest you start with JavaScript. Because if you could get through the hardest part, then everything else is pretty much downhill from there. This was the first time ever learning how programming works. And therefore, the extra time, the extra effort going into taking notes really helped out in the end because it was extra time I had with learning, extra time with me reviewing my notes, extra time with just really absorbing the material. A few of the added benefits I discovered were that it came with no strings attached. For example, I did not have to turn on a computer, I did not have to turn on my tablet or phone. Anytime I opened this thing up, I was fully focused on what I was learning. Additionally, because you don't need power for this thing, it's very versatile. You just throw it in your backpack and no matter where you are, it was very easy to open it up and get back into studying. And this reminds me of why people like physical books. You could go into your room, go onto your bed, Put your phone away, turn off your TV, and just open a book. And for the 30 minutes, hour, two hours, you are 
reading that book, that's really all you're thinking about. I do want to emphasize that a big reason why this system worked was because the notes were erasable, meaning I could color code something and be able to erase it and change it. And because of this, I had the confidence of updating my notes, making changes, fixing any mistakes I had, and being able to really reformat things however I wanted. So why should you be taking notes like this? If you're anything like me, and you like the feeling of manually, physically taking notes, having a notebook to carry around, having the hyper-focused environment where you could just pop open your notebook and be 100% engaged with what you're doing, then this would work great for you. The proof I have that this worked was that I was able to apply myself, create a couple small websites, and within six months was fortunate enough to be hired as a junior developer. I do want to stress that everybody learns differently. There is no right or wrong way of learning. It is essentially what works best for you, whether digital or physical. If all you have ever done is take digital notes, then keep doing that. If that has been working for you, then that's fantastic. If you ever find that you have the opportunity to try something like handwritten notes, then I encourage you. There might be something you may learn from it, or you just may learn that you don't like taking physical notes. I'll mention something I said in that video, which was, if this is your first time learning how to program, then I encourage you to try this out. Try it for a month, try it for a week. See how it works for you. At the end of the day, the extra time you are putting into this only benefits you. It's been four years since I've had this notebook and even till today, I will take it out and review a couple topics, especially when I've been on a long design spree. Because everything is well-structured and color-coordinated, it is very easy for me to get the point of what I'm trying to review. I'm very happy with my learning experience and I hope you're happy with yours. Thanks everybody for watching and have a beautiful day.